Hey there folks and good morning and welcome back for another shaving video and today we are going to use Uncle John's Lime. That's right, Lime. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I've been on uh, John Conley who is Uncle John for a long time because all his uh, scents at the time were like fall scents or leather or sandalwood, which sandalwood which I like. But anyway, no scents that really appealed to me so sort of tongue-in-cheek Every time you put something up, I'll go, I'd go, where's the lime? So uh, finally we have it and I'll talk about it just in a moment. After we have a little bit of Irish coffee, it's 29 degrees out right now. So uh, temperature appropriate time period is, is now on us, um, which is cool. Great, um, below freezing anyway. So anyhow, um, Uncle John's Lime. The scent on this is, I'm happy to report, not really your standard lime. It, it sort of comes off to me sort of like 7-Up, you know, that sort of light, fresh, crisp, almost like a lemon lime. Um, it's very, very nice. I like the scent a lot. Scent strength about, I'd call about four and a half, just a smidgen under that medium level price is uh, $4 an ounce, which is right at that fair mark. Once it gets over $4 an ounce, for me, it starts to get on the expensive side. So once you get over $4, you've got to start bringing something, uh, <clears throat> you know, better than just an average soap. It's got to be a really good soap. And uh, so we hope to have a good experience today with Dr. John's. Um, this soap here is a little bit um, hard. So it's taken me a little bit. You see, I've got nothing <laughs> on my brush yet from loading, so we'll keep wetting a little bit. I just need a little more water to get my load on here. And we'll see how it goes. It smells magnificent. Need more water. It's not picking up any soap there. Let's keep going. Eventually it will come. It's just breaking through that sort of top hard berry. This is pretty hard. It's not super hard, but it's, uh, it's pretty firm, so. We'll load until we get it loaded adequate for my needs, which is what you should do with any soap. See, look, still not much. And uh, it's unusual for me to have as much trouble loading. But have no fear. It'll come eventually. Just going to take a little additional work and some additional water. Sometimes soaps do require a little more water. I don't like to bloom. As you know, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what they do. I can tell you because I saw it with my own eyes what happens to soap if you get too much water in there. In fact, I have one sitting right now with a little bit of water in it and it's not looking that good. So I will show it to you when it gets right, when it sits as long as the, as long as the other soaps did that, um, that I had used to bloom heavily and perhaps I didn't let them air out properly. So I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see for yourself and judge for yourself. And I, I got no skin in the game, folks. I don't make a dime um, one way or the other. I can only tell you what happened to my soaps. And uh, that is what it is. All right, so now we're getting some, we're getting a little bit of that soap worked in. Again, it has taken me uh, <clears throat> a little longer than usual, but that's okay. Uh, the result is what matters. And I'm happy to work with the soap into it to, uh, until it behaves, I will beat it into submission. So there you can see we got a very, see that creaminess down at the bottom of the brush there? That's what I want. That's what I want to pick up here. All right, so I think we've done well enough there. Did take a little longer, but that's okay. So let's get to uh, shaving. Stand by, let me wet the face. All right, so let's see how we do today with good old Uncle John. It was a little difficult to load. Won't lie to you on that, but I believe it's going to turn around and be a nice shape. Let's add a little more water. We might need a little more water with Uncle John's. Keep in mind also, this is only the second time I've ever used a little, little John. <laughs> little John, the guy that goes, yeah! You remember him? Uncle John's. I think I was saying Little John there. Uh, anyway. Oh, yeah. Now we're doing what we're supposed to do. The scent is fantastic on this soap. Fantastic. 
I like it a lot. And that feels really nice. On my skin. Maybe Uncle John made it difficult on me deliberately because I've been pestering him so long. But I tell you what. I don't mind the extra load time as long as it's good stuff. Um, speaking of good stuff, I have to indulge. Oh. Oh, we're blessed today. Once again, the sun rose today. Um, by the way, I'm using the Above the Tie SE2. I hadn't got a chance to send this back to Stan yet, so I figured I would just break it out again and show it to you guys. Uh, for those of you who are unaware or who wanted to see it, it is an open comb, uh, single edge artist club style razor. The only one that exists as far as I know. I could be wrong if I am. You guys are free to comment below. Nice razor, for whatever reason, I prefer the SE1, but if you like open comb, um, you may want to try this one. And I'll say this, if you don't have the SE1, and you really want to try a razor like this, and you prefer open comb razors, go ahead and try this one. And if you don't like it, you can always send it back for the, um, you can send the plate back for the SE1 plate if you don't like it. That's something that Above the Tie does that few other people do. He has a pretty much unconditional guarantee in terms of sending you, you know, exchanges. So if you don't like something, he'll send you something. And he sent people back numerous things until they find something they like. So that's something unique to uh, Above the Tie. Okay, stand by for past two. All right, so I have a little Irish coffee here. Warm me up and let's get what I got to say the Uncle John's treated me right on that first pass the slickness was there um, No problems whatsoever once you get the load I did have a little trouble loading but Once I got the load I got it. And I love this scent. This is not your For my nose, it's not your average lime scent. It's a little bit different and I think perhaps that's what Uncle John was was going for something a little bit different so I'm really happy with it really happy with it because I love lime so thank you John Connolly for uh, making this I, I really like it and on the first pass it treated me well so no buyer's remorse on my part all right let's go on with pass two here and again, soap is uh, doing a nice job. Oh, a nice residual slickness there. You can see there's no lather there. Running my finger over it, it's still very slick. Leaving behind that residual slickness, for me, is one of the most important qualities in a soap because we all tend to, see, like right now, pretty much after the first pass, the lather was removed, but yet most of us tend to continue to go over that. Not a good thing for new people to do, mind you. But anyway, that residual slickness is what allows that razor to glide along there with no visible lather remaining. And that is important in a soap. And not all soaps have great residual slickness. And some of them, some popular brands don't really have great residual slickness. Um, they may have wonderful scents. They may have, you know, a, um, an adequate quality in terms of that, but not all scents, and some of the most popular ones don't really have great residual slickness. So, it's wonderful when I can try soap, and, and it's definitely there. It's important to me. Maybe not as important to other people, but sure is to me. All right, excellent second pass. Let's come back for pass three. Now, one of the things I'll say there about Uncle John's, as I was washing, you know, I run the water, and I'm sort of doing this number with the water, it's just <laughs> gliding across my face. So what I said about residual slickness is absolutely correct. It, it definitely has a, uh, there's sort of a, a sheen of slickness there or like a film or an oil slick almost. Like it just, it is slick as all get out right now and there's no lather there. So good stuff. 
it was difficult to load. And again, I, I have to bring that up. Got to be fair, but would it stop me from buying it? No, you just have to make sure you load uh, for a good one. Keep adding a little water until it gets right. Maybe it needs more water than I anticipated again. Not being familiar with it, uh, it takes time to be familiar with the characteristics and tendencies of, you know, certain soap brands. A Barrister Man, for example, is known to be a little bit thirsty. And this one perhaps is as well. And it's a little bit firm, so it took me a while to beat it in submission, but beat it into submission I did. And uh, once it has gotten whipped, now we're talking business with a D. Deliberate, B-I-D. This right here is serious business when it comes to shaving. And this scent is the cat's meow for me. Very, very nice. Exactly where I want it to be. There's a nice sheen on this soap. Um, once you get it loaded, it is wonderful. Quality soap, in my opinion. Now, this is the only the second um, soap from Uncle John's that I've used. So, would I put it in my top 10 list right now? No, because I haven't used enough. But as I use more, I'll continue to evaluate it. I'll tell you this, based on the first two that I've used, um, I've been impressed with the quality. And further, I'm impressed with the man that is John Conley. That is to say, um, he's just a throwback to what men used to be, in my opinion. Not that they aren't now, but he, he just has some of those uh, qualities that that I like. He's a straight shooter. He, he does things the right way. He's not just looking to make a buck at every turn. Um, he could have turned out a soap a month after I mentioned it, you know, and he said, oh, you know, Chris makes videos and he's got a lot of viewers. So it'd be in my best interest to get that lime soap out there. And because at the time, you know, a year or two ago, let's say a little over a year ago, nobody had really heard of Uncle John's soap. It would have been in his best interest to quickly make something, but he didn't. He couldn't get it right. He kept making it and he said, it, you know, it would burn his face like, ah, you know, it's not right yet. I can't. And that's to be respected. That's to be respected. And so, I very much appreciate, got a little weeper there. It seems like every time I've used the uh, SE2, I get a little weeper and I never get a weeper or rarely get weepers with other things. I don't know what it is, but for me, it's not quite as smooth. It's still a magnificent razor and again, there's no risk in this. If you get it and you don't like it, you can send it back for something else. Um, send it back, send the whole thing back for a R2 or R1 or, you know, but um, I prefer the SE one. All right, let's uh, rinse the face and we'll come back and do the post. Stay tuned. Before we get to the post, let's take a look at this lather here and try to give you a close up. You see that? Uh, I don't know if you can see. There's definitely a sheen on it. It's hard to it's hard to see in this light because as soon as I get it close, it gets darker. But there's a really nice, healthy sheen on this lather, and it makes it very, very slick. So I'd say the slickness on this and the residual slickness is its best quality. It is very, very slick. So if you're looking for a slick soap um, that has great residual slickness as well, this is a good one. And it's funny because <laughs> when I was rinsing my face, my hands were just... You know, it, it's really slick. All right, let's find my witch hazel. I don't know where I put it. There it is. The magic doesn't elude me today. There it is, bam. Magic, because it's made by witches. Why do people do that? It's kind of stupid going bam. You don't really need to do it. You know, when you hold this bottle up, it says bam. Whenever you say bam, is it really bam? You hold the, the Thayer's up and by itself, by virtue of showing up on your screen, the bam. It's kind of like people who write a long-winded thing, they go, at the end, they go, drop the mic. What? If your statement is powerful, you don't have to drop the mic. 
You don't have to say, drop the mic. You get what I'm saying? If the message is powerful, it's enough. You don't have to say, drops the mic. And as my mu musician friends have told me, whenever they see someone say, drop the mic, these are people who ob obviously aren't in the business of using microphones because good ones are very expensive. You don't really want to be dropping them. But, but anyway, that's just a little, another pet peeve of mine. Drops the mic. Again, if your statement is powerful enough, you don't need to drop the mic. You don't need to say drop the mic. Just let it be. That's my opinion. All right. We're going to use Perazzo Green today. Not that, that it's lime. It's not, but it is beautiful. I just wish it would hang around longer. I wish someone would make a, a artisan aftershave of this scent that's hung around because oh, I love it. It's such a classic, wonderful scent, but it doesn't last very long. That's my only knock on it. It's very good stuff. The scent is phenomenal, I think, but it just doesn't hang around. And that's kind of a bummer uh, for me, but it is great stuff. And if you don't have it, it's certainly one that should be in your kick. It's, it is a classic and I'm gonna put on some more because I like it. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. All right, stand by just for a sec. I had to go grab the uh, Uncle John's again. Um, I give it another thumbs up. Um, it was very, very nice. This is my second Uncle John soap. Uh, to me, only having tried two so far, that that slickness is off the charts for me. Uh, you can try it and see what you think. Um, it was a big success for me. Wolf Whiskers, uh, TSC. This is my favorite brush maker, Peter Wolf. Excellent guy, veteran, top of the line. Above the tie, SE2. I prefer the SE1 because I have not mastered this razor. Every time I tend to get a weeper from it, it's not the razor, it's me. I just haven't mastered it. I think it might be a little more aggressive than the SE1, uh, or maybe, you know, a little bit more than, uh, maybe more than a little bit, let's put it that way. But no risk involved with above the tie. If you don't like it, you can send it back. He'll send you something else. It is a great razor, so uh, check that out. And uh, of course, last but not least, let's make America shave again. 